Hello everyone, this is Kate and welcome to A Fountain Pen Awakening. Now, it has arrived early. Get excited <laughs> because I am. So long story short, today is Tuesday and this delivery from DHL was meant to arrive on the Thursday and I did some meditation this morning and when I came out of my meditation said universe I really really need this package to arrive today. I went down the shops to do some grocery shopping and I got a text message and it was from DHL and it said your packaging is arriving <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. See it's always worthwhile asking the universe for what you want because more often than not, you will get it. So before we proceed, I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It's amazing how you're supporting me. It's, it's so great to sort of be able to grow and share my experiences and my fountain pen journey with you and, you know, bounce ideas off you as well. Please, please, please share any comments, any ideas, any views, any any tips, tricks that you have, any pen crushes, any ink crushes in the comment section below. I'm not kind of like one for going, oh yeah, like in the box above, follow the link there and blah, blah, blah. And I won't go on about, you know, subscribing to my channel and liking my content, da, da, da. I don't kind of want to do that. Um, but I also understand that in the in the YouTube community, if you if you do like someone's channel and you do comment, um, it helps them grow. So I know a lot of people don't like commenting or are shy or can't be bothered or they just sort of like tuning into a video just because they're sort of like, it's like a Google search. They're looking for something like, oh, you know, Van Diemen's inks, for instance, and then they come across my video and they might just like watch five seconds of it and go, oh, yeah, nah. But for, for those of you who have actually subscribed to my channel, I thank you very much because that then helps me grow. And the more subscribers I get, the more views I get, and then, then the more possibility I have maybe of um, – making some money out of this which would be fantastic for me <laughs> because it would be one of my dreams to be able to sustain myself and be independent you don't have to at all I mean this is not about you know that at all it's about you know sharing my fountain pen journey with you guys and because I'm so excited about this new hobby that I have found I have actually been able to make videos about it which I was super shy and would have never put myself out there to do this so it's kind of all you know a journey and it's been all these small steps that has brought me here so the fact that I'm here I'm very grateful for who I am I'm grateful for the fountain pen community I'm grateful for this hobby I'm grateful to you guys who follow me and who subscribe to my channel and you know if it grows and I can you know make some money out of it that's fantastic and if it doesn't it's fantastic all the same so again thank you everyone for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate you please always feel free to comment I you know I, I keep not asking you guys for your opinions or your point of views or anything but just feel free to you know pop a comment down in the section below um, also I have everything linked in the section below like anything I discuss on my videos I always link in the description box all the list of my inks you know the pens that I use um, any shout outs that I have in my last video I actually um, put a list of what my current ink crushes are and what my current um, ink uh, wish list is so you know, going forward, any of my videos, always check the description box because there's always information in there. Okay, so without further ado, here we are. I'm going to show you what has arrived and get excited, people, because this is stuff to get excited about. Yep. And I guess you guessed it. <laughs> I guess you guessed it because this is the white box and it is the Bennu. Now, interesting fun fact about Bennu, Bennu is actually an Egyptian deity, which is super, super interesting. Anyway, 
I digress, don't I? You just want to see what I've purchased. So, people, so, people. FOMO. This was my FOMO. Fear of missing out. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hey, hey, hello, hello little pan, welcome to my collection and this is the um, new uh, Ambrosia collection from Bennu um, and it is the brown orchid, how beautiful is that? Oh my god, it's even more beautiful in person. And see this little sort of um flower here in the middle. So practically this was all about um that's what it's named after brown orchid. Um and it's also sort of like so you can pop it down and it doesn't roll. So you open it up and it's quite small. So I guess, um, I mean, and it can be posted. So you post it, right? And it, you know, fits quite nicely in your hand. I'll just get rid of that. Um, yeah, no, it feels good. It does not too back heavy or anything like that. So that's kind of like the cap. Oh, look at the sparkle sparkles in it. Yeah, so cute. And I think there are actually hearts in there. And then this one's got the gold nib. I've got it in the broad. And I love the way that here, this, um, the grip section here sort of matches the color of the orchid in the middle. And then it's got these like purple swirls in there and then it's all gold. <gasps> Oh, isn't it to die for? I love it. And um, I can actually quite comfortably write with it because it fits in my hand. Um, it feels good. Fits in my hand okay. Um, it both, like, and even if I post it, it feels good. I can write with it. Now, if I open it up, what has it got inside? That's kind of like a mini mini ink um i think it's a standard you know one of those standard international ink cartridges but you've got to use a small as opposed to this one which did come with in an ink converter in it this came with the ink converter but i don't think yeah that won't fit in here so if you want to get one, I think you might have to get the international ink converter, but the small, the mini one, because the standard won't fit in there. So if we have a look um, at the size of it, again, I'm a bit excited, guys. <laughs> Love it. I'm so happy this came early. I just can't believe it. So, yeah, I keep dokey. So it's a little bit smaller than my Briolet, or Briolette, whatever you want to say. So it might be maybe a centimetre, and it's a little bit thicker as well. feels thicker in the hand than when I hold this. And then the Brio doesn't post. So if I unscrew this, let's have a look. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. I guess it would be, I think, the same size as my Twisby Mini. You know, guys, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, see, it's kind of the same size as a Twisby Mini. Now, with a Twisby, if I uncap it, ah, uh, yeah, see? It's a little bit smaller, yeah. And so with the with the Twisby, I need to actually um, post it to write with it comfortably. As opposed to this, I'm actually quite able to write, like you know, hold it in my hand comfortably. And and then when I post this, the only thing about this that I feel 
and it's not too back heavy or anything it feels good the only thing about this is I have to find a sweet spot because these kind of cutouts here of the flowers kind of hit against my little spot in there and that might be a little bit annoying yeah but how beautiful is it with the gold I mean it's not real gold um it's a stainless steel nib broad nib but how beautiful is it oh my god tell me what you think of this pen how beautiful this pen is i mean the detail that they put into these pens is phenomenal and i've got these little like I call them payettes, but I don't know what you call them in English. They can, sequins, that's it, sequins. And um, these have like kind of a heart shape. So getting back to it, I was saying that I have the perfect ink. So in my last video, I was talking about um, Van Diemen's Leatherwood Honey that I ordered. So what you do, you don't have to like ink it up. All you have to do is this. You just dip your pen inside the ink. Oh, and these bottles are like super, 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 super full. So if you just want to test out your pen without having to ink her up, what you do is you kind of dip your nib in the, in the ink and then you can write with it. Venu. Oh, wow. I write super well. Yeah. Orchid. It's so smooth and buttery. This is the... Um, where is ya? Collection. And this is a broad nib. And with ink with this is the leatherwood honey and it's a Van Diemen's ink and I think it is the Tasmania Tasmania Caesars. Wow. What do you think? See how golden sort of um golden honey brownie orangey it is? It's kind of like I think the perfect match. And it it looks super nice when you write with it and it's like a smart color it's it's just got this beautiful golden honey color to it which i think matches perfectly my pen my new pen my new pen now this was super expensive guys for me at least it was super expensive because the Bennu site um uses us dollars so all their prices are in us dollars and obviously with the exchange rate unfortunately uh, australian dollars are rubbish at the moment so we lose out when we have to purchase us dollars um and also the benu any shipping it does it's 28 us dollars the price of the pen plus the um the shipping I, it, it worked out to be 160 US dollars, which isn't bad. But when you convert it to Australian dollars, it was uh, over 200 Australian dollars, which was way, way over my budget. But I thought, you know what? This, at the end of the day, is a collectible and it's a beautiful pen and I love it and I think it's gorgeous and I'm really, really happy for it to be in my collection. I already have so many other pens on my wish list but I thought I'd just you know stop now because um how many fountain pens can you have and I hear you say so many and I agree 
but for now it might be a good idea to kind of stop right and just stop right now so my next video i think next week i will be doing which i thought was super cool would be to show you my collection of van diemen's inks because van diemen inks is a tasmanian brand and you guys in the fountain bank community might be all familiar with the robert osters but you might not know that we've got van diemen's as well who is uh who are i should say a tasmanian company and tasmania is a small island off the coast of victoria which is the southernmost tip of australia and i think they're super cool i love these inks they've got really interesting um shading properties there's a lot of shimmer inks really cool kind of names really good inks they flow well um and i really enjoy them they're super fun they've got different series and i will link um their website below in the comments below i think you if you were interested in purchasing from them i think you can go to their website and purchase uh, directly from them instead of going through your pen resellers um i think they do ship internationally i'm not entirely sure but worthwhile because they're super fun super good inks and you know you can't go wrong this is an amazing ink amazing amazing and what i'm going to do with this baby i'm just going to use my um syringes here i'm going to suck this uh, black ink out whatever it is and then I'm just going to fill this up and reuse it and pop it in there so I don't have to even bother buying a converter and on that note my beautiful fountain pen community thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all next week thank you ciao belli